Hello Virgo. I'm Kathleen Robinson of Karma Queens and Five Tarot. Welcome to my tarot podcast for February 2024. And this month we're only going to focus on love in its many combinations for you, as Valentine's Day is all about that, isn't it? And if you'd like to have a tarot reading with me, then head over to my website, fivetarot.co.uk and decide what type of reading you would like. Or contact me via email at karmaqueens at gmail.com. So, Virgo, you've been brought justice reverse this month. And if you're asking about what is the outcome of a relationship and you draw this card, it means that there are issues of unfairness and lack of balance in the relationship. Perhaps one of you feels like they're giving more than the other. You or your person could feel like the relationship is one-sided. This lack of fairness could also manifest in broken promises and infidelity. Your person could feel betrayed, especially if they feel they've invested a lot of energy into the relationship. What is needed in this relationship right now is honesty, integrity and good communication. A level-headed approach to problem solving will get you a long way now. Justice reversed as a love outcome is that sign of unfairness and it can be external, such as treating a partner in an unjust, dishonest manner. But it can also be an internal affirmance, such as lack of self-awareness or an unwillingness to acknowledge their role in disagreements. There could be an unwillingness to take responsibility or to be held accountable. And your person could be prone to unfairly blaming you. If communicating your needs to your partner isn't working, Try an impartial mediator. If that doesn't work, justice in reverse advises you to seek justice elsewhere because you know you deserve better. And if you're wondering about a potential relationship, justice reverse means unfairness. It could come in the form of unreasonable expectations for a potential of a relationship. And this card astrologically associated with Libra which can be notoriously in love with the idea of love. They can't stand being single. And this card asks you to say, stay grounded and be realistic with your expectations. Your, curse, your person could be the one pressurising you with unrealistic expectations. Make sure you present yourself in an honest and transparent way so that you can tell if truly they love you. If you're in a new relationship, justice reverse as a learner outcome means somebody being a bit off balance from the get-go. You could just have started off on the wrong foot. You just need to find out if you can get on the same page and then try to get on the same page with each other. It's a card that represents logic, logically and on paper. You seem like the perfect couple Yet something feels missing. Perhaps there's just no chemistry. Alternatively, you could really want to be with this idea of an ideal partner, even if you feel nothing. Focusing on a relationship you're not quite feeling is unfair for both of you. If you're in an existing relationship, it means an unbalanced dynamic in the relationship. This could be in terms of energy, effort, time, communication style or finances. Alternatively, you may have begun to realise how incompatible you really are. Perhaps you started off the relationship romanticising your differences, but in the long run you're finding that reality sets in and the fun wears off. Opposites don't really attract. Another possibility with this card is that one of you is expecting to legalise the relationship and the other isn't ready. If things aren't progressing the pace you'd like, try having a conversation with that person. And if you're currently in separation with each other, justice reversed means that there are lingering resentments. Whether you're separated by distance or you're inquiring about an ex, your person is bitter. This could be about and ex, they're unhappy with how things ended. The breakup could have been very well justified, but they're unwilling to take accountability for their indiscretions. They may even resort to blaming you. 
And if you're in a long distance relationship, the resentment is about an imbalance. They could feel that you're not putting in as much effort into the relationship that they are. Or alternatively, you could feel this way about that person. Communication is always challenging when you're long distance anyway. But being very clear about what you expect from each other is especially key to keep that relationship going. If you honestly have time or financial constraints, let them know so that the truth is out. That's all from me, Kathleen Robinson. Until the next time.